Hey everyone, JT here with another Cards and Beers. Today we got uh, we got 2020 Illusions. Um, so Illusions has three autos in it. One of those autos is encased. It's also got, um, I believe it's got, there's a one mem in there as well. Now, um, Illusions has been interesting. If you've watched a bunch of people open it, there's been some really, really good ones. And then there's been some really, really bad ones. Um, what I've been noticing of um, a lot of frustration is some of the encased autos. Um, while I think they're trying to maybe add a little bit more flavor in there with the autographs, um, as far as just not having rookie autos, um, so they've had some Hall of Famers, which is cool. Um, but some of the Hall of Famers they've been adding have been mm, okay. You know, um, I've seen I think at least three or four boxes lately that have been open that have offensive linemen, which hey, I'm an offensive lineman, so I'm not throwing shade at that, but. You know, when you pay, you know, almost three or 300 so bucks for a box, um, you're hoping that, uh, you know, you're going to get, if you're going to get a Hall of Famer, you're going to get like a, a offense of like a quarterback or worst case scenario, running back or wide receiver or something. So we'll see. I mean, let's keep our fingers crossed um, that we pull some stuff good. You guys know, you guys know me. I don't really collect a lot. Um, Vikings players, Twins players and Minnesota players. So you know, whatever comes out of these boxes usually just goes right online for sale. Try to recoup all the money that I spent on the box is kind of how I like to do it. You know, unless I hit a big Viking um, or, you know, I like to collect like Winfield or Tyler Johnson because they're Minnesota Gophers. So we'll see. But, um, you know, if you're watching the video and you see something you really like pull out of the box, it's more than likely going online. So if you want, you can hit me up and uh, you can try to buy it from me direct. I can save some PayPal fees. That'd be awesome. The, um, before we get started, we do have, excuse me, we do right now have a live, um, case, not a case break, a live two box break on this right now. That's up. Um, there's eight spots. It's division. It's two boxes of illusion. Um, we have two spots filled. We're looking to fill the other six. It's a really, really, really good deal. I started it at 125, um, a division. We're down to, I'm basically now moving it at $99 a division, which is, essentially cost because I have a couple baseball mixers that I want to do. So I want to free up the illusions, get those out the door and broke so then I can um, do the baseball one. So um, best place to check those out is TwinCitiesBreaks.com. Basically from there you can either buy the spot or you can go to our Facebook page which is in that link as well. That It will be on Twin Cities Breaks and then that way you can see how many spots are available. There's some other breaks going on right now with, with illusions. Um, my partner who I do this with, Andrew, has a, an illusions with mosaic mixer, which is really fun. And that one's pick a team, get a team. And that one's only 50 bucks. Um, so check that one out too. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, fingers crossed. We, uh, we get something good out of here, right? Oh, and then today we're going to, um, we're actually going to pair it up with, um, key lime pie, which is a sour. And, um, this sour comes, um, out of California, I believe. Let's double check that. It is um, um, brewed and canned by Krebs Brewing, uh, Oklahoma, actually. So today's beer is uh, Prairie Asian Ales, and it's key lime pie. It's a sour ale with um, key lime and vanilla. I've actually had this already. This, I think, is the third can. It's absolutely delicious if you like sours. It's super fun. It's definitely got that lime to it. So um, definitely go ahead and check these guys out. Um you know, they're probably available, you know, I got it up here in Minnesota, so I'm assuming you should be able to kind of get it anywhere you go to. Again, it's Prairie um, Artisan Ales, and they're out of Oklahoma, so Key Lime Pie. So let's go ahead, we'll crack that first. Ah, so good, those sours are so, so good. All right, let's, um, let's get in here, let's see what's in here, huh? Fingers crossed. This is probably the box first box that I've done um, for the channel, but probably just, uh, let's move some cords around here, probably just that I've done recently that I've kind of been the most, most nervous about because I just, I've seen some really, really rough boxes um, where, you know, I think we've done, we've done Phoenix on this um, channel, you know, Phoenix, a lot of awesome stuff. End of the day, worst case scenario, you you rip open a whole box of Phoenix, and uh, you should be able to piecemeal enough to you know get your money back. Um, we also did uh, Absolute, and I had a lot of good luck with Absolute. 
hobby boxes. So this one I'm a little nervous. Let's uh, let's see if we can get some cards out of here. So basically you get you get um, ten packs. So here's our ten packs. I mean, here's our uh, ever so interesting encased. Let's just go ahead. We'll put that off to the side. All right. So here's our encased. We'll slide that up there. And uh, we'll put these over here. And let's go ahead and see. Now, there is some really cool acetate cards in here um, that are clear, that are really, really cool looking. So those will be um, those will be fun to see. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we got both cameras on it. Now, there is some glare here. So we're going to go ahead and kind of adjust our circle light here so we don't get too much glare. Let's make sure we got both cameras on. Perfect. So uh, we start with a, a rookie. That's T. Higgins, um, not numbered, and they are a little thicker too, which kind of makes me a little nervous because I don't have a lot of uh, top loaders that fit these thick cards at the moment. As you guys know, top loaders are really tough to get, so getting thirty-five point ones is always tricky. To get anything else is really tricky. So hoping, uh, I guess, good. Good news, bad news is if you pull some really awesome stuff. Um, bad news is I don't really have any top loaders for him right now. Um, all right, so we go. Here's a red, I believe. This is DeAndre Hopkins, who obviously made that sick catch on Sunday. This is the 3.99, and then our first acetate. Hey, there we go. A Tua. I'll take the Tua, right? I think. Um, I think uh, first pack to hit a to hit a Tua in the uh, Mystique. I'll take that. It's a cool card. I, I, value, I don't know. Um, we'll have to look it up after the video. So clear shots, Troy Aikman. It's another clear one. That's cool. And then we finish with just base, which is Cleo Mack and Jimmy G. So, you know, if you're going to finish with base, or if you're going to get base, you know, it's always great to get, you know, just kind of the so-so guys and keep the big numbered cards for the for the rookies and the vet and the Hall of Famer. So it looks like it's looks like you start out with a with a um, rookie, a rookie base, but that actually has a mem in it or an auto. So we'll we'll save that one. There we go. Another like I said, it must start out with all rookies. So here's our Lavisca Chenault rookie, and then it goes into our numbered cards. And hey, we'll take that Jalen Hurts to four ninety nine. That's a that's a good card. Hey, look at another Tua. This one is um this Tua box. Hey, I'll take the Tua box. Tua's been hot right now. Um, I don't think that last one is numbered. I think this one maybe. So let's go ahead and see. Um, yeah, two ninety nine. Tua to two ninety nine. So there's two. Let's um let's uh let's uh put this in here. Let's throw our uh. Let's throw our stands up here really quick. You know, put our first two cards on there, which you know, we'll take the two Tua's, right? Two to 199, and then that one's base. So there we go. We'll take that. So far, I'm, I'm happy. And actually, I'm happy with uh, happy with the um, Jalen Hurts to 499. I'll take that. Put that one right there. And then, uh, you know, our boy Kirk, boy Kirk, who, uh, and AJ Brown, Kirk has gotten a lot of flack for the Vikings this year. Um, you know, and to be honest with you, yeah, maybe some of it is on him, but you know, the defense has been struggling. It's tough. You know, Zimmer's always had that awesome defense You know, he lost all of his best players on it basically. So it's been kind of, you know, Kurt won us a Monday night game against the Bears. We'll take that. There we go. Um, here is DeAndre Swift. And then Tom Brady, blue to 75. That's cool. Look at that card. That's really cool. You know, everyone likes likes a Brady. And a Brady to 75, I think, is uh, I think is really cool. The one thing, too, in these is there is um, case hits. So, you know, they're tough, obviously, case hits, so tough to find, but it's like, a, it's like a duo. So, basically, it's like, I think the one I just saw was Kyler Murray and uh, Kirk Warner. So, they kind of, like, duel, like, the old school with the new school. Um, so, 
We'll be looking for one of those. Uh, here's a DAC. DAC not numbered. That's an acetate. You know, we finished with Tannehill and Chubb. Chubb had a had a good game. This feels thick. Let's we'll wait off on that one. This one feels thick. Let's wait off on that one. You know, I'm hoping that the Tua box that we've got so far gives us a Tua patch auto. That'd be nice. All right, Brandon Ayuk. And then we got a Vikings number. There we go. Just talked about Kirk. 399. And then Joe Montana acetate. Not numbered. Clear shots. It's cool. Teddy. And then Bosa. So, eh, that was okay, Pat. Mm. So, we got J.K. Dobbins rookie base. Looks like there's another auto, so we'll hold that one too. Really, not gonna lie, very excited about um, about our encased auto. <laughs> excited and nervous at the same time. Um, all right, here we go. We got Clay J. Pool, Clay or uh, base, Alvin Kamara to 4.99. Clear shots, Lamar. Not oh, that's numbered to 149. That's nice. We'll take that. Take that. Baker and Robert Wood. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these thick cards. I, I honestly don't even have uh, I don't even have sleeves for thick these thick cards right now. All right, we got uh, Patrick. That'd be nice if that was numbered. And then Joshua Kelly. And then. Larry Fitzgerald, and that's uh, Living Legends, and that is not numbered, but it's a cool card. Man, I was hoping, I really wanted that. And then uh, we got Breeze and Fuller. I was really hoping that this was a numbered Mahomes. Still a cool card, though. No Mahomes. Base. You know, they are going to, this product is going to come out in retail. So I'll be curious to see what that's about. See if they're thick cards like that. After thin cards, seeing what, see what kind of cards come in it. Because obviously, if it was if this only if this was only in hobby, you know, then a Mahomes base may have some value. But if it's going to come in retail, that means they're going to print a lot of it, and then yeah, really it won't have much value to it there. All right, Zach Moss, and there's a so these are it looks to be our three hits. Non encased hits, I believe. Well, there's another one in here, but I think um, maybe one of those is a filler. Got me tricked. So, CJ Handler, and then we have, oof, don't be our patch auto. Okay. Michael Pittman Jr., big old napkin patch. So, nothing special there. Uh, here's a JJ Clear Shots, not numbered. You know, Fernet and Gurley. Okay, so let's see what our see what this one is. Okay, Zach Moss, Tom Brady, Shining Stars, that numbered. Ooh, two ninety nine. Carson Wentz, Adam Thielen. Yeah, I'll take. So we got two Toms, two numbered Toms, two Tuas, a numbered Tua. So there we go. I mean, yeah, we'll take a first year in Bucks uniform. You know, Brady to two ninety nine. We'll take that. You know. And then Zach Moss and then our looks like this is our patch auto. And it's probably a Raider, which means it's probably <laughs> Brian Edwards. Uh, I mean, I'd take a rugs, but I bet you it's Brian Edwards. Oh Jordan. Oh, look at this. Oh, ho. Now that's a cool card. I am by far not a Packers fan. <laughs> uh, being a Minnesota Vikings fan, but you know the lineage, um, Favre, Rogers, Love, um, Patch or not? It's not so much Patch as it is Jersey. That's a cool card, though. You know, not numbered. Um, it says enclosed authentic memorabilia is not from any game or event. Oh, okay. So the Love. A love jersey, and which makes sense, because obviously he didn't have a jersey because he's a rookie. 
you know, isn't from any game or event. But the um, the other one, the Rodgers and the Farbs are guaranteed um, player worn used material. So they're not worn by necessarily Favre and Rodgers, but they are player worn. They are the jerseys from that era, and they were worn during that era. And Jordan's is more just like a jersey that they had in the locker room. So still a really cool card. Um, like I said, definitely not keeping that card because I don't um, collect that much, and I definitely don't collect Packers players. So that one's for sale. Anybody wants it. All right, let's see what our other one is here. We got a Russell. Russell to – oh, that one's not numbered. That's just a, a regular Russell. And then we got Odell, Roethlisberger, the Dobbins. Okay, it's red. So Brandon Ayuk. Um, you like seeing teal, or you like seeing orange, or you like seeing Carolina blue. But uh, red would basically probably mean Brandon Ayuk. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jordan Pinkley from the Falcons. You know, rookie free agent, tight end, not even drafted. So, yeah, there's been a lot of this when it comes to the to the base rookies autos. It's been a lot of this is what I've seen. Um, so, yeah, you know, not great. But, you know, we did get the, the patch of um, the triple patch of the Packers. So we'll take that. And so, okay, so here's going to be our last, our last pack before we get to the encased. So we got TJ, not numbered, Deshaun, Saquon, our rookie's van. So what do we got here? All right, this will be our, should be our RPA. So this is the, the one we want to be the biggest. Okay, 199, that's never great. Colts, Jonathan Taylor, Easton, uh, Pittman. Yeah, so not great. I mean, I, I kind of wish they – this is kind of some of the frustrations I think people have been having so far with this stuff um, is, you know, we hit, we hit the Pittman – I don't even know where it is. But we hit the Pittman um, – patch regular patch you know so now we hit a Pittman patch auto to 299 so you know what all we can hope for is that basically that our um our encased saves us here you know like I said I mean we got the two and we got the lineage so we can't we can't be too upset you know but when it comes to value like if we're going to talk value you know, we're probably not where we need to be on this box. I mean, we may be close just if we were, you know, you, you got the Hertz rookie to 499, you got the Tua, the two Tuas, you know, you got the Brady numbered, and you got the other Brady blue numbered. So, I mean, you might be able to patch meal enough to get, you know, some of your money back, but you're nowhere near where you hope to be. And not, and I'm not trying to say like every box you buy, you're going to break even on, but I've seen, like, if we compare this to, to Absolute and, um, Phoenix, based on what I've been um, lucky enough to get, and based on what I've seen online, those are more um, 75-ish percent of the chance, or percent of the time, you're going to break even, or do better. You know, I, I've watched a lot of this, and I don't think I've seen close to that. You know, probably closer to 30% of the time. So, alright, let's see what we can get here. Fingers crossed that they gave us an eh, RPA, that we can hit something decent in here. All right. All right. So this is the top. So that's good. We opened it right. All right. It's a rookie. Uh, nope. It's it's uh, Pioneer Penmanship. So I don't know if Pioneer Penmanship is Vets. I think it is Vets. You know, Dwight Freeney. Mm. Okay. I mean, 
it's okay. You know, it's to 10. You know, Dwight Freeney to 10. Dwight Freeney's a Hall of Famer. So you can't be mad at that. But I've seen everyone that's come out of here that's been a vet has been essentially a Hall of Famer. So it's not that's not a big surprise. Now, if I was going to get a Hall of Famer, I'd love to get an offensive player. Um, not so much a defensive player. I think uh, this is probably 30 bucks, maybe. Uh, I could be wrong. You know, to 10 helps, but there we go. It's uh, Dwight Freeney, Colts. So this this was not only the Tua box. It was, I guess it was the Colts box because if um, you take my Michael or take our Michael Pittman Jr. Michael Pittman Jr. patch and our Michael Pittman Jr. patch auto and our Dwight Freeney, you uh, you have the uh, Michael Pittman or you have the uh, Colts Colts box. You know, so if we were breaking this box, Colts would be happy. All right, so, you know, recap it up. So here we go. You know, we got the Michael Pittman Jr. regular patch. You know, I'm going to guess on all this stuff, but this is a couple bucks, five bucks maybe. Is it, you know, numbered? I can't remember if it was numbered. Yeah, it was, this isn't even numbered. So five bucks maybe. You know, the Pittman Jr. patch auto, 10 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. I'm not even going to guess on Freeney because I just don't know enough. You know, the Jalen Hurts to four ninety nine. you know, that's probably not bad. You know, the Lineage, this one is probably one of those cards that value is going to be in the eyes of the, the beholder. So, you know, if you are a huge Packer fan, you will probably pay more for this. So, not bad. And then probably our best card, honestly, you know, you know, we did have... Uh, you know, we had the um, the Brady, this Brady, you know, to, to whoop, this Brady is to two ninety nine, And then we had the blue Brady too, which I actually really like the blue Brady. Where's the blue Brady? The Russell Wilson's a cool card. I mean, there is cool cards in here. So I'll find that that Brady. But we didn't hit um we didn't hit any we didn't hit any Herberts, not even a base. We didn't hit any um Burrows. I guess if I guess if you're gonna hit two two is you can't complain about not hitting Burrow. Um or uh Herbert. Oh yeah, we did have the forgot about I <laughs> forgot about this hit. You know, the the Jared Pinkney hit. So, um, having trouble finding the Brady here. Let's go through the back. That might be easier. There we go. You know, so then here's our Brady. Brady to 75. So, that's probably one of our best cards. Brady to 75. All right, guys. Hope you guys have, um, have good luck with illusions. Um, like I said, I got to a two box break live um that uh, i'm looking to to fill there's a chance that um that i end up just selling those boxes um if we can't fill it so if you are interested in your own box of illusions i'll literally let it go for what i paid for it which is still going to be under um all the website prices i think right now illusions is one is 375 you know from like a blowout plus tax plus shipping um you know i'll let my boxes go for you know, 355 with obviously no tax and, um, I'll ship it for free. So let me know. Uh, all right guys. Thanks. Um, subscribe, like, um, let me keep opening boxes. The more you guys subscribe and like the better I can get, um, get some more cool boxes. So I think the next football video we have is going to be, um, it's either going to be rookies and stars or it's going to be playoff. So, or both. We'll see. All right guys. Take it easy. Thank you so much.